Today, the European Parliament called on the Commission to recognise access to water as a fundamental right. This vote reflects the strong support of MEPs to the Right to Water Citizens Initiative, the first to have collected a million necessary signatures to invite the Commission to make a legislative proposal on this matter. When nearly two million people in the European Union are collecting signatures and to raise their voice, that they want uh, uh, water as a free good, as a human right, then we need a strong answer from the European Commission and not a really light answer, a diplomatic answer. In concrete terms, MEPs want to provide all citizens with sufficient and clean drinking water and sanitation. It has nothing to do with the common market. Water is a, is a free good. Water is not should not be included in the, uh, the trade negotiation, not in TTIP, not in other negotiation. Water must be free, water must be available for everybody in the European Union and also outside the European Union. Indeed, water access is not the same for everyone. In the hot and dry southeastern region of Spain, several waste water treatment centres have been created in order to respond to high demand for water. Here is an overview of the last filtration step operated on waste water. Este es el tratamiento terciario de la depuradora, que consiste en un tratamiento físico-químico con decantación lamelar y además de eso una filtración sobre arena y tratamiento ultravioleta. Aquí se añade cloro y sulfato de aluminio para desinfectar el agua. Bueno, y este es el objetivo final de todo el proceso de depuración, obtener un agua totalmente limpia, sin sólidos y que respete el medio ambiente y toda la normativa europea. Este agua se podría decir que cumpliría con todos los parámetros para ser un agua prepotable. Which means that it could be used for farming with no risk to health. This is one of the many initiatives that could inspire governments in order to reach water sanity and clean drinking water for all. Let us hope that MEP's call will soon lead to a clear and strong commitment from the Commission and EU governments to recognize the access to water as a fundamental right, a right recognized by the United Nations for five years already.